Hi, I'm John Harrington, and we're going to break out and break down the wide variety of equipment we use to deliver images to our clients. Next, we're going to show you one of the equipment kits we use when we're traveling on assignment. Each kit is different and serves a very specific purpose, so let's take a look. A critical and often overlooked component on shoots is a sandbag. As silly as it sounds, sandbags are really important. These sandbags are designed to sit on the bottom of the stand so equipment doesn't fall over and cause damage to a head, fall on the subject, or otherwise do damage on set. They're in varying weights. These are some old school Matthew sandbags. These two are 20 pound sandbags. This is a 14 pound sandbag. However, because this is a true sandbag, this is actually one of the newer technology BOA bags. It's got BBs of some sort in it that are much heavier and much more dense. So even though this is 14 pounds and this is 14 pounds, it's much smaller. So you'd always want to go with one of these over the older school technology. We also have a couple of nine pound sandbags for smaller stands. In addition, and something that's worthwhile when you're traveling, are these sandbags. These are actually bags that are empty that when you get to your location, you can fill up with sand so you're not paying for the weight of traveling with sand. These bags will open up and then inside the bag, these bags will open up and then inside the bag, you can actually slip sand in it and then it'll actually wrap around and hook onto the bag and this Velcro will wrap and make sure that this sand bag stays upright so that the sand doesn't fall out. Something else you don't want to have happen. So let me show you how these sandbags actually go onto a stand. There's a couple of different ways how to do it. Here's a standard C-stand base. You can take the sandbag and you can just lay it over the leg. That certainly works for a lot of functions is one of the things that you really can also do for extra security is to take the strap and run it over the top of this so that once the vertical pole is in the base of the C-stand, the bag can't come off at all. That makes a little bit of a challenge if you need to reposition the stand and you already have the pole and the head in. That's where the newer technology bag comes in. In this case, you have the bag and the bag itself has a little rubber grip inside and you can actually wrap the bag around and it's now sturdy, it's closer to the center. It's just a much better wrap on something as simple as a C-stand or a stand bag. I know it sounds silly to be talking about new technology sandbag, old technology sandbag, but in this case, these bags are just much better than these bags. You can also take this and wrap this, this is a smaller one. You can wrap it around like this. That works as well. There are multiple ways to do that. You can even, if you really got to do something and weigh something down, take and put one on each end. And then add a third one to this leg and, and really, really further move out the center of gravity and how these bags grip onto a stand. So that's a little bit about sandbags and how they are a critical component when you're on a shoot on location, especially when you're outdoors.